Hi Pia, welcome to part 3 of Power BI scenario based interview question and answers. In this part, we are going to focus on some of the scenarios that may be asked in your interview. So these are going to check your ability to analyze the situation, again your DEX knowledge and also your knowledge about the different scenarios that you can handle inside your organization. So if you would like to know them, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Before we proceed further, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates and also do share with your friends and colleagues. Now let's head over to my laptop. Over here, the very first question can be, how would you create a Power BI report to display total sales, average sales and trend analysis for sales data from multiple regions? Basically, your interviewer would like to know your expertise to develop a dashboard. He wants to know that how you're going to gather the data, how you're going to apply the different kinds of logic in order to calculate your total fees, average sales, or how you are going to create one visualization that is going to depict the trend analysis over there. Actually, it's more than that. Whenever your intuitor is asking you this kind of question, please note that these questions can be very tricky. They would like to know whether you have knowledge of end-to-end -end data analytics or not whether you know how the actual process flows from the identifying the resources, getting the requirement, getting to know all the different logics that you have to implement, how you would follow these processes step by step. Overall, this is going to be your process to calculate this average, average sales, total sales and trend analysis. However, please be mindful whenever you are going to explain this to your interviewer, you have to first of all ask certain questions. For example, what are the data sources from where we are getting the data? What is the deadline? How many people are in the team? Who is developing the dashboard? Is it going to be only you or there is going to be a dedicated team to develop it? What are the logics of different calculations? Please do not just draw a picture of bear by just hearing the name of draw a bear. You have to ask questions about that. Always ask questions to your interviewer. That can be any number of questions. Like I mentioned, first, start with the resources also start whether you are going to use the power bi on premise or you are going to use the power bi cloud services that can be also furthermore what kind of licenses you are using because that's going to give you that how many times your data set is going to get refreshed if you know in power bi pro you can only refresh eight times a day but with power bi premium you can refresh 48 times a day so those can be very helpful then furthermore how many people are consuming it what is going to be the threshold over there that how soon the page should get load etc what would be the volume of the data so ask as much as question you can but the most important question that you should ask is what is the layout that we have to design because always start with this because you should know what is the user's requirement what are the different kpis or what are the different visualization they are looking to what kind of details they want whether they want daily analysis detail monthly or yearly like that how many years of data they would like to view inside the report so these are very important questions so please ask as much as question you can ask to the interviewer that's the reason interviewer is asking you this question that you can ask them they want to check your knowledge that how you actually create it if you're going to simply say okay total sales is like that every sales is like that and this is going to be my trend and interviewer is going to be surprised what do you even know that there is a thing which we call the requirement gathering you should ask first what your user needs not just throwing what you know so ask questions first now coming to the second part how would you design a power bi dashboard to effectively visualize year over year growth for products now guys you should be very much careful about this question it's a tricky question here there are two parts one is effectively designed and second is the year over year growth year over year growth is going to be your dex part where you are going to perform certain calculations and effectively design means you are going to use your power bi best practices and design principles over there like i have already mentioned in the first part to you that how you are going to get the requirements you are going to ask a lot of questions to your to your business that what do they really want to see over there what kind of principles or let's say what kind of best practices you need to apply over there power bi best practices is another thing but they may also have certain other requirements so please do ask questions over there 
apply your power bi perspectives as well like limit the number of visuals so certain times it happens business wants business would like to see 20 visualization in one page but you know that that's not the right way to do it so you may have to propose something else as well always challenge to your bas or your business that okay this is not the right way to do it we can do like this or ask them propose some solution to them because they just know one part but you can also show them the other part of the side other side of this and then you can work with them be very careful ask questions do not assume next would be what steps would you take to create a churn analysis report using dex in power bi first of all you should know what is churn analysis Intuit would like to know from your end whether you know anything about churn analysis. It's just the iteration that how many employees are leaving your organization. And do not just implement it. First of all, focus again on the requirements and ask what is the logic of that. They are going to give you in plain paper or in plain what is the logic of the churn analysis that you have to convert into DAX and you have to optimize your calculation as well. After that, you have to build your visualization. But again, focus on the requirement gathering sit with the BAs. BAs are going to be the bridge between the business and your team or maybe in this case you are the only developer you then you have to ask the questions to the BA once the BA is going to hand over you to the requirement do the kickoff meeting start with that then analyze it yourself ask questions as much as you can lay out calculation logics how many times data should refresh where it should get published how many users are going to be there so all those questions you need to ask and only then you can do that a sample answer is over here that what kind of logic you can apply but you have to still ask to your business as well it doesn't matter that what is over there on the screen that you're looking but you have to ask to your ba all right next question would be how would you approach creating a financial dashboard with interacting kpis and drill through capabilities in power bi like i mentioned everything you in the previous answers focus on the requirement you have to ask to the business hey okay please tell me what are your requirements do you have any layout in your mind or shall i design by my own if you have please just design either in a panel paper give me some example make some ppt etc and then put everything in a well documented business requirement document in a word file once you have everything once you have all the logics everything placed over there then you have to start designing it now coming to the part that they would like to know the details as well what level of details they want they want to do the drill to drill through, drill down, etc. What kind of slices they would like to see over there? What kind of filters they would like to see over there? Which year data they want? How many times they would like to refresh the data, etc. So all these are very valid questions which you should know and then apply on the top of it Power BI best practices. Optimize your calculations. Check the time, how soon it's getting load. And if there's any other exceptional requirement, please consider them. Also, last but not least, please consider the Power BI limitations as well. It happens in some cases you are migrating from legacy systems such as SSRS or maybe it is the MSTR W. And then when you are migrating to Power BI, you may not be fulfilled, you may not be able to fulfill all the requirements that are working over there. So you have to find alternative way what you can do over here. All right, that's how you're gonna answer. Now over here. Intuit is asking, how can you use Power Query to clean and transform unstructured text data from your data source for analysis? This is quite tricky for me. And why is that? Because here, your interviewer doesn't want to just know that how, what, how and what you're going to do in Power BI, but they would also like to check your knowledge about unstructured data. You should know what is unstructured data, first of all. Unstructured data is the data which doesn't have any structure. For example, you're getting data from social medias, email addresses, emails, or maybe you're getting the text data, etc. And here he's mentioned the text data itself. So he would like to know whether you have knowledge to clean or perform the ETL operation or not, basically. ETL is extract transform and board. So what we do over here in Power BI, in Power BI we use the Power Query. Power Query is gonna help you to perform ETL operation. You are gonna extract the data from the data sources by using the get data option in Microsoft Power BI Desktop. Once you connect to the data source, for example, you are connecting with any of the data source which is online using HTTP connection. Once you have that, then you have to start analyzing the data. Maybe you have to clean it first. Clean in the sense you need to remove the duplicates, you need to rename, you need to change the data type, you need to split the column. There's so much more over there. Once you do that, then you have to load the data and finally you have to do the data modeling. That is what is the part of backend. 
but front end would be then you have to create your dashboard or a report over there so in this whole part the most critical part is about cleaning and doing the data modeling spend your 80 percent time in doing the data modeling and then 20 percent time in designing because if your data model is correct then you can definitely design beautiful and the most efficient power bi reports now if you would like to learn more about the power query i have already created another free dedicated tutorial for that i'm going to provide you a link in the description section so please don't forget to check that out this is it for this part of the video in next part we are going to discuss some of the other questions which are going to be again scenario based power bi interview question and answers so please do let me know and share your feedback with me also remember that we have a list of all the power bi interview question and answers and it's a very extensive list but this list is only available to the people who are members of our youtube channel so if you would like to avail that pdf then please first join our channel this is going to help us out to maintain this channel please do note that we are not charging you a lot of money over there in order to join our channel you have to pay a very small amount of fee so guys please join our channel that is going to support us and we can create more and more learning materials for you if you need any kind of trainings, please do contact with us for PL300, DP600, and DP500. Not only that, you can also connect with us for Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Fabric trainings. Till then, please keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.